This presentation will show um, the data entry into Tektite 4.0, which is a free floater software that's available on the energyconservatory.com website. The first step will be to go up to File, the first pull-down menu on the upper left here, File, New Test with Custom Configuration. And we've already set up a configuration file that has uh, our company name and logo, our um, information, climate information, and fuel data information, and, um, and also our client information. Uh, and time before we went out to the house to fill in the, uh, the client information, and we saved that as a configuration file. And uh, now we're pulling it up and entering additional data into it. Um, we don't have anything filled out in building information because the, the building location, building information is the same as the customer information. That might be different if you're doing a multifamily building or, or your client is different than the building that you're testing. Um, so we've got our client information. If we want an additional email or website from the, for the client to, to show up on, our, on the report, we can include that. Um, and we can put in the year of construction here if we if we know what that is too. Um, so we'll enter in the, the floor area and the volume, um, surface area, and this additional information. If you have any questions about what what they're looking for in this information, we can go to the help menu. And the help menu is, is pretty helpful actually <laughs> in explaining what kind of data we're looking for. For example, um, the volume of buildings intentionally heated or cooled is what we're looking for in volume. So if we're testing a, a building with a basement, we recommend that you include the basement volume. If it's closer in indoor temperature than outdoor temperature. Um, so if it's, um, um, so that, it, that gives you some guidance on what we're looking for for volume. And, uh, and then floor area, um, if, um, if we included the basement in the volume, um, then we'll include the basement in the floor area. So, you know, really it's as simple as that. Um, surface area is a little bit different than what, uh, what we look for in past versions of Tektite. We have what's called a Minneapolis uh, leakage ratio that includes the above grade surface area, but there's more and more standards that are including all of the surface area, like the Army Corps standard um, is looking for even the, the uh, concrete floor. Um, as part of the surface area. So depending on what, what uh, number you're looking for, what, um, what standard you're using will determine your surface area. So think of surface area, you know, if you think of a, a cube like a dice, um, you, you'll want to calculate the area on each of the six sides and enter that in uh, for the surface area number. And then height. Uh, for height, we're looking for the above grade height of the building, so not the total height. So if your basement, it's not uh, have a basement, it's not from the basement floor to the to the ceiling of the upper level. Um, it's the the area that's above the ground um, that we're looking for, and that's what what ASHRAE 62.2 uses for its calculation, and and that's the calculation that's used to convert um, um, CFM 50 to CFM natural. Okay, then we'll hit the exit help back to our main screen. So uh, we'll enter in a floor area 2,000 square feet. And, uh, um, the volume is 16,000. We've got an 8 foot height for each floor. And, um, and then the surface area. Think of the surface area as a perimeter times the height. We'll give you all of the wall area. Um, and then the ceiling and the floor area added to that. So at about a 25 by 40 building with two levels. Um, and then the height, again, that's the above grade, above ground level. Um, we'll choose nine feet, we've got a basement. And we'll put in three for the bedrooms, four for the occupants. Okay, uh, our configure fi configuration file, the climate location information was pulled in automatically and our heating information, efficiency of the furnace, um, our fuel costs, and, and efficiency of the cooling system were already entered in. Uh, we've got a default um, for wind shielding, and again, for definitions of what each of those are, we can go to the help menu, 
and, and look at that. If we want to clear the information in that box, we can hit the clear button. We can see the big clear button for each of those boxes. Um, we can simply choose that. And then to, to move around on the screen, so we can either go to the previous screen, the building info, or the next screen is to uh, mechanical ventilation. So we'll hit next down here, lower right. Um, this is the mechanical ventilation page. Uh, if we wanted to calculate and we want that information to appear in the report, we'll click on that to activate it. Um, we have a new house. That's all we need to do is choose new house. If we have an existing house, it will give us credit for the fans we have. So we can enter data in um, here. We've got an operable window. We'll enter that. The number of bathrooms um, and the measured uh, exhaust fan flow. And if it's got an operable window or not. Next. Um, now the comments page uh, allows you to customize the report however you want. You can um, you can have a, a a lot of default information in here and save that in your configuration file and then update that information for every house. Um, that'll save you a lot of time on your reports if you have some basic uh, information in there to start with. Um, so you can include things like the house setup. You know, maybe bypass location uh, where you found bypasses with your infrared scan and um, insulation levels, existing levels, and proposed levels. Um, include your safety tests, um, you know, whatever improvements you're recommending. Uh, could all be included in this section uh, in order to customize your report and optimize your time um, spent doing the report. Um, the test settings page. Um, if we're doing a, a manual entry, we can uh, we can click manual here, and uh, um, if, there's, if we're doing um, an automated test with CGSB, we could we could uh, record pressure zonal pressures. We could activate our uh, our zonal pressures um, for that. Uh, unclick that. Um, and then on our test graph page, um, uh, let's go to previous. If we want to enter enter it manually, we can click on manual, and then uh, um, click on the data table to enter all of our our test information. So that's uh, that concludes our demonstration of the data entry into TechType 4.0.